Hi folks, this is James Brown speaking at you from the Cambridge Conservatory of Music in downtown Gault, Cambridge, Ontario. I'm here today to talk to the beginning guitarists out there who are struggling with their instrument and looking to get a bit of a better understanding. Um, you're probably learning chords and you're probably learning three or four, maybe G, C and D, or you're learning chords from your favourite song or from watching YouTube videos. It's often better, uh, in fact it's always better, to learn uh, music with reference to the key. So you, instead of thinking about the chords, you're thinking about what key is the music in. And I'm going to teach you how to write a song. Um, I'm just going to use the key of C and I'm going to explain to you uh, the formula and what chords you have available to, to you. You might recognize uh, the C major scale. And the C major chord. Here, most people have heard that before. It's Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Ti, Do. It's that, it's that old... Um, very familiar to everybody. Uh, what people don't know is when you come to play in the chords, you want to arrange them by type. So the formula is major, minor, minor, major, major, minor, diminished. And then if you give everything a number, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, then writing songs and learning songs and recognizing chord progressions becomes a lot easier. So if we can, uh, I'll just play through these chords for you. So here's C major, D minor, E minor, F major, G major, A minor, B diminished, and then you're back to C, which is back to the one again. So I'm going to show you how I would uh, write a song just randomly. Okay, I've got bags here of of uh, random chord progressions that I'm going to pull out. So the first thing I'm going to think about is the time signature, and if that's 4-4, four, four, I'm going to feel it 1, 2, 3, 4. If it's something else, I'll, I'll feel it differently. So we'll just see what we can pull out here. So I'll just take a couple of them. So this one here is 6-8, okay? So I'm going to feel that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that's my time signature. We already know the key. We're going to use the chords from C major scale. The next thing I need to do is write myself an intro. So I'm going to pick up another couple of chords here. Uh, this one, which is, that's a 1-4, a 1-4 times 2. So um, my intro is going to be a C major, which is the 1 chord, to an F major, which is the 4 chord. And I'm going to do that two times, okay? So then I need a verse. So I'm going to pull out a verse from here. bit too many of them. Okay, here's one here, which is a 1, 4, 6, 5. Okay, and in the key of C, the 1, 4, 6, 5 is going to be C, F, just like the intro, and then 6 is your A minor, and the 5 is the G chord. And finally, we need a chorus. So that's the last thing we're going to write here. This song's coming together now. So I'm going to take this card here, and this progression is a 4, 6, 5, 6. So in the key of C, my chorus is going to start with an F, uh, 4, 6, 5, 6. It's going to be an A minor, and then a 5 is a G, and then a 6 again is an A. So I'm going to do the, I'm going to do everything two times. And Okay, so we've finished our song. The time signature is 6, 8. The key is C major. The intro is C and F. The verse, C, F, A, and G. And the chorus is F, A, G, and A. And if I want to add an outro onto it, I'm just going to repeat the intro again to give you somewhat of a complete song structure. So here we go, 6-8 time. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6.
And there you have it, a complete song from start to finish, written by pulling numbers from a bag. Okay, and if any of this is very difficult for you to understand, um, please get in touch with us and we'll gladly give you some lessons to explain everything to you. Thanks very much for watching.